I'll give the floor to the author of the question, Mrs McAvan. Um, thank you, Mr President. And, um, firstly, I'd like to thank the Conference of Presidents for making time to have this debate this week at very short notice, and to you, Madam Commissioner, for coming here at such a late hour to debate what is, in fact, a very important issue for our Parliament. On the face of it, it looks like a very technical issue. It's about the implementing measures for the Fuel Quality Directive and the setting a baseline or default values for greenhouse gas emissions for transport fuels. But the real issue, and it's a very serious one, is how serious are we in the European Union about tackling emissions from transport? We know that around 20% of greenhouse gas emissions come from transport and that that figure is rising, unlike in the housing sector and the energy sector where the figure is falling. So cleaning up our transport fuels is a key part of the fight against climate change and that's why the Food Fuel Quality Directive is so important. And that brings me to this question of tar sands and oil shales. Parliament was expecting the Commission's implementing, implementing proposals on the directive at the end of last year. There was a de delay, and we know the delay was because there was an internal debate in the Commission about whether or not to give a separate value to tar sands. Um, we were told that the reason we couldn't have the measures was because there was no scientific study to back up a Commission proposal. But in early drafts from the Commission, we saw there was a separate value for tar sands in the consultation papers, but in later drafts, that value had disappeared. So, thanks to you, Madam Commissioner, we did get a study now. So we have a study on the, on the um, tar sands, and that study, which came out two months ago, shows something other studies have also already shown, that greenhouse gas emissions from Canadian tar sands are, are on average 107.3 CO2, 107.3 grams of CO2 per megajoule, compared with 87.1 for conventional fuels. And for shale oil, it shows a rate of 122 and 139 CO2 per megajoule. So, in other words, it shows that these fuels are dirtier than conventional oil. So, I'm hoping that tonight, now we have the studies, we'll hear from the Commissioner that we are going to see a proposal to implement the Fuel Quality Directive. I said at the beginning that this is not just a technical issue. Last week, many MEPs who are here tonight received a petition from thousands and thousands of European citizens who are very concerned about this issue. They want what I want, which is a, is a proper fair labelling of tar sands and oil shales. We often hear that the EU is leading the way on climate change, but California has already put in place a low carbon fuel standard which assesses tar sands as high carbon. Now, I know there's been a lot of lobbying about this. We've all heard about it. We've met the different lobbyists. And I know that even now, even now that we know that tar sands and and oil shale is a dirtier fuel than conventional oil, they are now saying, oh no, let's have more studies, let's have more time. But we have the facts now on tar sands, so I don't see any reason to delay. Tar sands are one of the most polluting ways known to man for producing transport fuel. It follows that they should be given a different categor categorization in the Fuel Quality Directive. Otherwise, there's nothing to stop transport fuels getting dirtier under the Fuel Quality Directive instead of cleaner. And Commissioner Herdegaard, I know you will hear in a moment how many of our colleagues from across the House in all groups share our concerns. You're known for your commitment to tackling climate change and respected for it in this House. We want to work with you to deliver your low carbon roadmap to actually cut, transport, cut emissions from transport by 60% as you announced last week. So I hope that tonight you're going to come here with some good news for us and tell us that in the next few weeks we will have that implementing standard and we will have a higher value for tar sands and oil shale. Thank you, Mrs. McAvan. Now, Commissioner Hedegaard has the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And um, as we just heard from Linda McAvan, we share the view that we, the Commission and, and uh, Linda McGovern uh, share the view how serious it is